Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday. Super excited for this video. My indigo kit just came yesterday. So excited to share this with you. Very, very different. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So Heidi Thompson, our president, decided to come up with this kit um, if, because colors will trigger memories, music triggers memories, and scent triggers memories. She decided to combine all of that together. I'm sure you guys are like, music, really? Yeah, so she, Heidi decided to put together a Spotify playlist to go along with all of these scents, which is really, really cool, definitely different. Um, and she created Indigo, so it's amazing. I am super excited to check it all out. Um, but first, let's get started with the bars because the bars is what we're all interested in. <laughs> so you get this beautiful packaging, sleeve comes right over the top, and then you've got this box which holds all of your bars. Open this here. Inside you get a couple of flyers. Let me read these flyers to you, but you can see the packaging. Oh my gosh. Woo! It smells so good. The whole box just smells so good. So you've got this beautiful packaging here. Um, but you do get a couple of flyers inside. Whew. Okay, so this little card here says, Be inspired. Visit scentsyblog.com for more inspiration behind Indigo and a playlist curated by Scentsy President Heidi Thompson. Awesome. And yeah, this card is scented with Indigo cotton. It smells so good. Wow, that smells good. Okay, this one here is describing everything in French, I believe. <laughs> I don't read French, so I'm not reading this to you. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So, okay, on the inside of the box here, this is telling us everything that's inside the contents. So I'm gonna read this to you. I'm gonna sniff out the bars, tell you kind of what I, what I am envisioning, what I am sniffing out here. Okay, so indigo. Capture your imagination and captivate your senses with dramatic fragrances inspired by indigo, the color that seduced the world. A color steeped in history, yet modern and fresh. Explore the many moods of indigo in six indulgent fragrances. Bold and daring, confident and serene, meditative and mysterious, impulsive and energetic, and every mood in between. Be inspired by indigo. Sounds good to me so far. Okay. First bar we're gonna start out with, Indigo Cotton. This guy right here, you can see the packaging is definitely different. The wax is kind of a really, really super light baby blue. So, Sensi describes this as chambray on a clothesline, breezy, clean, serene. The top note on this, morning mist, lemon zest, pink grapefruit, heart notes, blue lotus, muguet, whatever that is, uh, honeydew melon, base notes, white musk, soft amber, and silkened timber. Okay. This definitely smells like more of like a clean floral. I definitely pick up the white musk from it, so it's definitely floral, but it's like a clean, musky, Floral. I don't really pick up maybe the lemon zest and pink grapefruit, but I don't pick up any honeydew. Definitely pick up the white musk. This is good. So there you have it. So this is more of a clean floral musky scent. It's good. It's good. <laughs> okay, on to the next one. Indigo Ice. A wintry landscape, chilled, woodsy, invigorating. The top notes on this guy, juniper berries, sea salt air, bergamot zest, heart notes, cedar leaf, violet leaves, crushed lavender. Base notes on this are blue maho wood, cashmere musk, and rich amber. Okay, this smells like a man. <laughs> it seriously just smells like a man's cologne. So I definitely pick up, I think that's the bergamot that I'm picking up and the cedar leaf. It's a very woodsy, musky, manly scent. It smells good, probably the, 
it smells good. It's just, it's very masculine. So that'd be good for your man cave if, if your husband or if you have a man cave. That'd be great for it. Okay, on to the next. Indigo petals. A crown of flowers, fresh, vibrant, playful. Top notes on this are sea mist, grapefruit zest, chilled tangerine, heart notes, violet leaves, indigo blossom, and cy uh, cyclamint petals. Cyclamint petals. Melanie, if you're watching this, what the heck is a cyclamint? Am I saying that right? I'm probably butchering that, sorry. Okay, don't know what that is, but that's okay. Base notes, sheer amber, vetiver, vetiver, and tonka, tonka bean. Ooh, this is good. Okay, I definitely pick up the grapefruit and tangerine. It's like a grapefruit tangerine. And like, Maybe it's the Tonka bean on the backside, but that's good. This is really good, you guys. It's like a tart, it's like a tart, a tart fruity scent. It's really good. Oh yeah, that's really good. Very different. I definitely like that. Okay, on to the next. Indigo Spirit. Let's see, we got Violet Petals on Whipped Meringue, Rich creamy, indulgent. Top notes on this are elderberry, blueberry, peach, nectar. Heart notes, violet petals, damask plum, apple blossom. And base notes are whipped sugar, vanilla cream, and tonka bean. Oh, that's good. Okay. I definitely pick up the blueberry. Definitely the plum. You know what it smells like? It smells like there's just a whole bunch of berries and fruit on top of like whipped cream. Because oh, it does have like on the back end, it does have like a creamy sweet note. Almost like a vanilla on the back end that might be like the Tonka bean or vanilla cream or whipped sugar. <laughs> Yes, this, they did a great job on describing this one because seriously, I can smell every aspect of this. And it's more of like a, almost like a purple color. Oh, that's good. Okay, I think I might have to warm this one today. I will follow up. Okay. Next one, indigo berries. Sun ripened sugar berries, sweet, tart, bright. Top notes are lemon zest, sweet orange, big nay berry. Heart notes are rhubarb, jasmine petals, strawberry. Base notes are cotton candy, sheer musk, and vanilla bean. Let's check it out. Okay, this definitely, I definitely smell like the rhubarb. I do pick up the orange. It's like rhubarb and orange. I really don't smell any vanilla in here. It's really just like rhubarb and orange and like a berry scent. It's very sweet. And it actually does smell like cotton candy too. Ooh, that's good. Okay. And this one's just like a little darker blue. Beautiful. Okay. Last but not least, Midnight Indigo. And it's a dark blue. An expansive starry night, sultry, intoxicating, mysterious. Mm. Top notes, salt air, sea mist, and lemon zest. Heart notes are bergamot leaves, jasmine petals, white cyclamen. Base notes are soft musk, coconut milk, and blue cotton. Oh, this is different. Okay, that I will say one thing. These scents are like completely different from anything we've ever had. That makes me happy. It is a soft, musky scent. Jasmine, I do pick up the jasmine. It's a woodsy, sea salty kind of floral. <laughs> they did such a good job with this. It's different. Oh man, that is beautiful. And then like I said, that's a really dark blue wax. So that's beautiful. These are all so different. 
And just on cold sniff, they smell strong like they're going to last a while. They smell strong like they're going to throw well. Um, we'll see. I'm going to start warming at least one of these today in the office. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this. So I had to share it with you. Um, I want to kind of explain these top notes, heart notes, base notes. In all of our waxes, we have a top note, we have a heart note, and we have a base note. So there's the three different layers, I guess you could say. So on cold sniff, you're really smelling that top note. Once you warm it, they all mix, and that's why a lot of our, our Scentsy bars, they really come alive once you warm them. So just keep that in mind when you when you smell something on cold sniff. Um, it may just completely be something different when you warm it up. So I absolutely love that. Um, so you can get this kit. This is a limited edition kit. I'm hoping that Heidi will come out with more colors and more fragrances. But this, I have to say, I am super impressed with. Um, I couldn't be happier that I purchased it. So you can order yours. I will put my link down below to link you to this kit. Um, if you're interested, please, you know, let me know if you have any questions. This is $30. I must say it is worth every penny. I'm probably going to have to purchase one or two more because I really, really like these and it is limited edition. It's not going to be around forever. So this video is long enough. Thank you so much if you watched all the way through and for hanging out with me this morning. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye guys.